How's it going, everyone? And welcome to Geometry Dash. Are you surprised? In today's video, I'm going to be going somewhere I haven't gone in a very long time to look for some levels that I could potentially send to Rob Top. This is very different than my do your levels deserve a star rating because I'm not going to be taking actual level requests. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to the magic tab and I'm going to be taking a look at some of these levels that haven't been rated yet, but are kind of starting to gain popularity and see if there's any that I should be sending. All right. The first one is Made in Heaven by Kronos V2. Made in heaven. Let's go. That's a nice little hat there. I dig it. Those are some cool lights, man. Um, I'm down. It's The blocks are kind of simple, but I, I do like what it does uh, with the blocks, with like the chains and the, the blocks on the top. And the lighting's, uh, the lighting's not so bad. Uh, we'll see. Gates to heaven. That was a cool little, cool little transition. I suck. But wait! Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Of course you have, and it's for a good reason. Raid Shadow Legends is peak RPG gaming on your mobile device. I really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. In Raid, there's a ton of activities to do. So I'm gonna tell you my top five favorite things to do in the game. Number five, getting new champions. There are so many champions to get in the game and it is really exciting to get a new one. Number four, battling badass bosses in dungeons. Man, the bosses look so cool in this game. And when you go up against them, it feels so daunting just because of how monstrous they seem. Number three, I love taking my champions to the tavern to see how I can upgrade them. I can upgrade their skills. I can upgrade their level by sacrificing other lower champions. Number two, choosing the right skills at the right time. I have had some pretty clutch battles where I've used a skill that'll decrease the attack of the person that I'm fighting, which makes it so they can't kill me and I can just barely kill them. My number one favorite thing to do in raid is to go and fight other teams online where you can test your team against actual other players in the world. Oh, I love fighting teams that are just a little more powerful than my own and seeing if I can beat them. I played against this particular team 10 times until I was finally able to get the right strat down to beat them. And ooh, it felt great. Raids got a ton happening this month with a fresh rotation of the Brutal Hydra boss and a ton of events and tournaments every single day, including some special Valentine's Day events where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion. This is the best time to get started in Raid because if you click my link in the description down below or scan the QR code on the screen, you will get some cool bonuses. We are talking a free epic champion, Rector Drath, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Hope to see you guys there. It's not bad. It's it's simple, but it's one of those levels that's greater than the sum of its parts. Like it's it's simple, but everything's very well placed and looks fine, you know? Okay, we got we got some slope action, man. Whoa. That's that's a that's a lot of inputs. Um the screen keeps on moving like up and down, which I'm I I, I don't know about that. Like that dude, I don't know, dude, that's weird. I don't know, I don't know about that. Wow, spikes, huh? Behind the letters. It's 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 interesting. It's got some it's got some errors. Like, man, the spikes behind the letters don't don't really like that. The chains are cool. But it's getting dude, not not a huge fan of those. Okay. Decent transition though. I don't know what's happening here though. You gotta jump three times. Like one, two, three. Oh, I see. You gotta go like as you're jumping, you gotta go in the air. Wow, dude, dude, that's everything all of a sudden went crazy. That was that was a crazy duel. You got to hit the button multiple times while you're in the air as the robot. Um, yeah, like some parts are way harder than others. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to be a thick wave there or a mini, but either way, I mean that looks it looks cool, but kind of the block design, like the play field with like the the simple blocks, it looks out of place with like the really cool artistic background. So I I don't know, man. I, I feel like there's a bit of contrast with quality going on here, right? Um, I think it's got some good ideas, but I definitely think it needs it needs a little bit of work. This part looks neat, although it looks like you can land on those platforms, but they're kind of part of the background. And then, man, it, you'll have parts that look really cool, and then you'll just have like the simple normal blocks pop up, and they just they stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Um, the level could have used some custom block design. It would have made the level pop off like way better. 
It didn't even need to be kind of intricate block design, just something better than the basic blocks. Either way, it had some cool ideas, but um, I will not be able to send it. But it's one of those levels that's kind of on the cusp. I'm gonna favorite it because I'd love to keep my eye on it if it did get updated. It's got some really neat stuff in there. It just needs, it needs some touching up. You know, it needs, it needs more polish. This one never feel good. Uh, this is the one I started playing before I started the video for this idea. Uh, and, uh, right here, you can see, like, it kind of looks cool with that glitchy effect. I think this part, I think this looks good enough. Like, kind of weird. Unsettling with, like, the lines and stuff. Some parts are weird, like, those, those spirals that are, like, going towards the screen, like, over to the left. Those, uh, those look a little bit out of place, though, I gotta say. It kind of takes me out of it. Because, like, the glitchy effect's cool, and then you see, like, those spirals, like, moving to the left of the screen, and, like, you focus on those instead of the cool glitchy effect, and you're like... What? They just seem like out of place. And dude, I uh, don't know what you want from me there, man. Oh, I'm supposed to be a cube. I must I must have missed something. Okay. All right. Don't know how I got through it that time, but I mean, the gameplay's fine. Like I I kind of dig it. This part right here looks better than the beginning of the level did, too. Like the level got better. I find with a lot of levels that are on the cusp of being rated or not, like they get worse as they go, but this one, it's getting better. Like this one is, this is cool. I like the way this part looks. Yeah, that's cool. Now, now we got like a little bit in the foreground, right? Those like little pillars. They kind of stop though. And then, okay. Nice going on, going on the blocks. Levels, it's a little short. And then I just fell off the screen and... I do think this level should be rated for sure, but I'm not going to send it for a feature. I'm just going to send it for like a straight up rate. Next one is Super Media by Hand Store. Let's go. Series Mania stonks. Thanks for your help. Okay. Okay. This is cool. Just looks like a cool little, uh, cool little glow level that has like flashy effects. All right. I'm seeing this. That's, uh, that's fun, man. That's good. Cool. That's good. That was a decent transition. Um, I do like the uh, the lasers on the screen. I mean, we have seen that in a lot of levels before. But... Alright! I was gonna say that was a bit of a weird transition with the song, but... Yeah, a little bit of an awkward transition there. For sure. But now it's... Now these transitions are fine. Hmm, gameplay is... Uh, pretty simple? This, that looks cool, man. Okay, that, that part looks cool. That's neat. There's a couple parts where the transitions feel a little weird, but overall, I think it's like mostly polished. I think I'm gonna send it for a uh, for a feature. Uh, six stars, I think, is around what I'd say it was. Yeah, that was that was all right, you know? I, uh, I enjoyed it. I think it was consistent enough. I will say, I mean, I know it's an easier level and I do play harder levels, um, but even with that said, I mean, the gameplay was pretty basic. Gameplay was super basic. It felt a little repetitive. Either way, it's in Rob Top's hands now. Okay, this one is Refract by Sapphire MKW. All right, let's do this. All right, this feels very, um, uh, kind of like, uh, 2.0-ish, you know? Just with the way it looks. I, I don't know, if, I don't know a better word to describe that, but it looks very, like, 2.0-ish, even though there are 2.1 blocks here. Yeah, yeah, with the moving objects too. That that is very 2.0ish right there. Oh my god, that's kind of annoying. I guess like you can't buffer that. What? Why is that so hard to do? You can't buffer that. That that was that was so hard to do. It might be a 240 hertz thing because that was like way harder than it should have been. Okay, there's some like lines that stick out. Um, the glow in the background doesn't particularly look good. That good. Those like glowing lines. Gameplay's all right, aside from that 240 hertz thing. Whoa! So far, it's all right. Uh, this definitely got like some challenging parts like this. Like, man, you gotta like, you don't like start at the straight fall. You actually have to go up. So man, seven star, that's, that's not seven stars at all. It's much harder than seven stars. We're looking at like eight or nine. But man, I don't know what it is. Like the last level I fi found had some polish, but this level I find like, lacks some polish. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely feels dated, but it's not a bad thing, like, with how it looks. Like, early 2.1. There's a little too much of the... There's too many of those, like, straight fly sections, though. 
I think there could be some more uh, creative gameplay instead of just doing like that cut and paste kind of uh, spikes opening up and closing. I think it happens like three or four times, doesn't it? Jeez, that sudden four times is pretty scary. Yeah, like that, like man, not I don't like that. It's like better to like kind of jump into there. Maybe if there was like a pink jump pad hitting you in there, it'd be all right. But that, the spikes opening up, there's, there's too much of that. Uh, and the spam too there. Uh, there's a lot to like about this level. There's a couple annoying parts in the gameplay. And there's a couple parts, like, like some of it looks just really dated. Some parts look decent. Like the part in the wave where there's like the black solid blocks with the glow in the background. I thought that looked cool. But the parts with like the transparent see-through blocks, it looked messy, right? I don't know, man. There's some parts to like about it. I think I'll just send it for a star rate, but not a feature. Yeah. This one is Yak by Jwertgum. 60k objects inspired in Zoro GD and Zender game. Man, great inspirations. Let's go. Yak. Sad, happiness, disappointment, fool. Ruin. Man, that's quite the beginning. Setting the tone. Okay, we man, we got something here. That is cool, man. Those blocks phasing in. Yeah, that's cool. Because of all those like heavy words, the the kind of gray monochrome. Um, which actually it isn't monochrome. You can see colors like phasing in, but it's starting out monochrome to like set the mood. Why am oh I just follow the arrows, man. Oh, that was cool, man. Bouncing up through there. Like through the ground. Very, very cool. Very, very cool transition, man. That was very cool. And the trees come down with the with the lights, I think. Or is it like willow trees or something? I don't know, man. But either way, it's 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 yak. Pretty, pretty cool, man. I like these animations jumping on the flower there. Yeah, dude, that's, this is dope. This is, this is a really cool level. Man, this, man, that's cool. Dude, dude, yeah, I'm sending this for like a feature. Like that, dude, that's so cool. Loving, loving the art style in this. Nice, and did you see that? How like the lines kind of phased together? They were like split out and then it phased together to like create the ground that you start on. Yeah, dudes, this is, this is cool, man. There's some parts that look like kind of basic like that, but I think overall the package is pretty cool. You could definitely tell it was very uh, Dream Flower inspired, and uh, man, I'm all here for it. I think it's like seven star feature. That's that's pretty cool, man. LLJ Furry Car, first modern solo remake of generic trash by me. In two days, de uh, dedicate to Peter LLJ and all my friends. Cool. What are we getting ourselves into here? <laughs> okay. Boom modern-ish looking level. Is that considered modern? Modern-ish. That, man, that looks cool. That's funky. It's pretty funky. Nice. Oh, dude, yeah, no, I love it. I love the backgrounds are changing. Like, the lines aren't just, like, waving. They're actually, like, thinning and thickening as well, which is a nice little touch. Um, yeah, dude, it looks very much alive in all the, like, best ways possible. It's good. Dude. Yeah. Solid level. Um, nice. And the, like, uh, dude, I love how the lines are moving in the background. Where she moves and then going back, like, yeah, it's just, it's polished, you know? Uh, this part looks a little bit more simple, but it still looks good. Uh, that ending part was a little underwhelming compared to the previous parts, for sure. It didn't really end with a bang. I just felt that was kind of jarring at the end. I still think it's very cool, though. Um, so I'll send it for, like, pretty easy level. Like a five star uh, feature. Um, the ending just a little hmm, dips in quality for the last section and then just kind of ends. So I've played a ton of levels up to this point that were definitely not even close to a uh, rate worthy. And I wanted to end the video with a level that I think deserves to be uh, featured. I wanted to search really far. So I'm multiple pages into the magic tab and I found this level called Sunset City by El Cosmo. Uh, 54,000 objects and a month of work. And I briefly went into it and it looked really cool. And so, yeah, man, I'm I'm going to play it and we're going to see. Um, I think this looks awesome, man. The light flickering the city. Like, it looks good, man. This looks great. Sunset City. Dude. But yeah, cool, man. That was good. It has, like, decently fun, just nice, easy gameplay. I really like the little uh, palm tree silhouettes is cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is cool. We've definitely seen like this uh, city style uh, done before, um, but this level looks very, uh, very polished. Very fun to play too. Went to the music really well. I like the choice of song for like this kind of like uh, beach city, whatever it is with the palm trees, you know, ow, man. 
think it'd be nicer with some indicators just because it's like a super easy level for like some people that aren't as good at the game some indicators would be nice like for me it's pretty pretty chill but uh, for some people it might not be as good i like that like uh yeah this is kind of like the what is it uh, god what's that called it's got that like new retro wave feel at this part right here with like the colors and the road yeah it's got that new retro wave okay so we're, we're back into the night city now where we got some clouds we're we're, we're pretty we're pretty high up um uh, man this is cool yeah i think i think this is a cool level but some once again some indicators because it is an easier level like some arrows would be nice um for uh you know people that aren't that good at the game right like i said for me it's like fine no big deal but i mean some indicators aren't everyone's cup of tea like i, I get it if you don't want to put them in me personally i think it just adds to like easier levels makes them like nicer to play in sight read and stuff I think it's just always like a nice quality. A little bit late on that jump orb timing, which is a little bit harder than the rest of the level. Um, but cool, man. Cool. That, it looks cool. I, I like the way it, it looks. 100% I'm sending it for a, uh, a five star uh, feature easily. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you want to see me go back into the magic tab in like uh, two or three weeks, I certainly will. I think it's a cool little idea because I'm able to do some mod work. Um, but not do level requests. So I get to like do it at my own pace. You know, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. Maybe if I do this in tandem with doing do your levels deserve a star rating, then it'll give me another outlet to be able to uh, send levels, which I think is will be good. Anyways, leave a thumbs up helps me out a lot. Uh, I will see you in the next one. As always, peace.